People have been looking for a battleground by searching DSLRs versus mirrorless for photography. Thank God too, because this video would already be over if it was DSLRs versus mirrorless for video. DSLR is a fart in a shitstorm compared to mirrorless video. I want to stress a point before I dig too deep. I assume that the people searching this topic are newer to photography because seasoned photographers know that for the most part, mirrorless wins in features and performance now. Uh, leaving the only difference being the feel and the physical feedback and the optical viewfinder versus electronic viewfinder. And by that, I mean the experience of optical versus electronic viewfinders. All of these mirrorless camera brands have new mounts for their mirrorless cameras, so the old lenses have to be adapted. So what I'm about to say doesn't apply to people who are already heavily invested in DSLR of a particular brand. But that being said, I do not recommend DSLRs to new photographers anymore, and here's why. The performance differences between DSLR and mirrorless by every brand have pretty much beaten DSLR. Nikon took a little longer than Canon and Sony, but the ZF, Z8, Z9, and at the making of this video, the rumored Z6 III, in my opinion, finally smash Nikon DSLR performance. In terms of functionality, there is much more customization in mirrorless to set things up the way that you like it. And when it comes to autofocusing, you get almost 100% of the viewfinder to move your autofocus point around. And that means no more focus and recompose, which I'll never miss shooting like that. You get excellent subject tracking abilities with specific tracking types like birds and human eye, trains, planes, and automobiles. And I'm sure you don't need it, but one of these brands will at some point have avocado or tumbleweed tracking just because they can. And someone will buy it for that reason, probably. These features are constantly being improved and updated in firmware because they can. Like it or not, it is the future and that's where R&D budgets are being spent on mirrorless. The cost of entry argument. There is a regular mention that the cost of entry into DSLRs is much lower than mirrorless. While that's true for both cameras and lenses, in my opinion, the other aspects of costs far outweigh that. DSLR warranties are over and they ain't making any more. Once the parts are gone, they are probably going to be gone. So good luck fixing it. While DSLRs are now cheaper up front, uh, what you get for your money functionally doesn't compete with what you get out of a mirrorless camera for the same amount of money. It really seems like the amount of stuff they can pack into mirrorless cameras is way cheaper of a process than what they could pack into DSLR cameras. Example being a Nikon D6, Nikon's top of the line, 6,500 bucks, for $1,000 or less, you can have a Z9. Sorry, the Z9 slaughters it. Someone's gonna fight with me in the comments over that. This formula of cost for entry is less apparent in lenses right now though, but while it's generally cheaper to buy a DSLR version of a particular lens, the mirrorless version is going to be better in performance, maybe not in construction though. Still, it's going to be faster, sharper, and have less optical imperfections like fringing and such. All things considered, while they are better lenses than the DSLR counterparts, the cost difference between mirrorless cameras and DSLRs feels like a way better value than the lenses. The price per feature of cameras are down, but the advancements in optics has been much more subtle, and the lenses are definitely higher priced. Did you know that you can get some awesome perks by becoming a member of the Z-Wade Photo YouTube channel? Awesome perks like content recommendations, early access to all videos, unique member only videos, and uncut or uncensored videos. Not everything on YouTube is able to be monetized. And if it can't be monetized, YouTube don't like it. But as a member, you'll get access to everything that YouTube deems unworthy of its algorithm. So fight the man by becoming a member of the Z-Wade Photo YouTube channel today. Obviously, this is still a hot topic in the community, and I'm sure that everyone is going to have varying degrees of Z-Wade is an idiot, and I know everything, and he doesn't, but this is just where I stand, folks. At the end of the day, it's important to remember that you're going to take amazing photographs if you go out and shoot, and shoot often, and spend less time watching gear videos. A mirrorless camera isn't going to make you a better photographer. It's going to make the shots you want easier to get, but only doing the damn thing is going to make you better. Before you buy your first camera, think about all of that. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade, and Z-Wade Photo, and stay sharp, YouTube.